name is Matthew Towns of Premier Performance Goalkeeping. Um, hope everyone's fit and well. Um, I've decided to, to record a, a short video for you um, of a, a training session that you can do at home. Um, obviously now we're, we're a little bit frustrated, training facilities are, are, are limited for us at the moment. Also contact with other people has been limited so it's important that uh, we use what we can and in a manner that we can to, as goalkeepers, keep developing, keep ticking over and making sure that we're not standing still. Um, obviously, goalkeepers within my academy, um, we're limited with the session timings that we can use, so I, I've decided to, to put this together for my existing goalkeepers that, that are, are with me and also any prospective goalkeepers out there that and coaches that that uh, struggling at the moment. Um, hopefully you find it useful, a useful tool. I'm going to cover areas such as foot, footwork, handling, low diving saves and mid-height diving saves in this first video. Um, possibly I do more, possibly uh, we, we, I'll see what response that I get. Um, equipment all I'm going to use, a wall, the floor, footballs and a pile of markers. Um, Again, I'm going to make it as realistic as possible for you guys, uh, for the facilities that you may have available, whether it's a backyard, a garden, um, a garage or, or, or part of your, your house uh, in the front room or bedroom. Um, so as you can see, I'm in a restricted area, uh, restricted space to, to try and make it as realistic as possible. First of all, as with any training session, we've got to get warm, prepare the body for what we're going to do um, for the main session. Um, as you can imagine, the, the, the session won't be too high intensity, um, so how we warm up shouldn't be any different to, to a, a high intense training session. Obviously, we want to prevent injury uh, and prepare, but also, you know, we've got to be realistic in what we're doing. So, we'll just run you through a few exercises that I'll do. Uh, this element, five minutes for you at home, just working from lower all the way up to upper body. Um, making sure that you're ready to go into the walk, to, into the workout as I say, okay? So, first of all, we're just going to go and open the groins, nice and easy, up and over, it's a general warm up from any training session, and then back again, taking the uh, legs the opposite way, so outside to inside, then we'll change and go inside to outside. We're just going to move into kicks, extending the hamstrings, just push them out, raise the leg up, push out, pull the heels up, for the groins, just touch inside, inside again, and then just butt kicks as you're coming forward, and knees up on the way back. This time we change, knees up, then butt kicks on the way back. Just start to move up the body, a little karaoke both ways, twisting at the hips, keep the head up, twist from there. Good. And then walk, warming up the shoulders and the arms. Again, forwards. And coming back in backwards. As you can tell already, I'm starting to breathe, I'm starting to warm up, heart rate's increasing. So I know already that I'm starting to get ready for the session. Continue your warm up, anything that you need, any stretching, hips, uh, backs, core, shoulders, and arms, just to make sure that you're ready fully to go in. Okay guys, now that we've got the body warmed up, it's time to work to warm up the technical aspects, so the hands, the feet. We're going to start with basic W technique for the catch. So remember, W technique, finger, small thumbs together, just coming in behind the ball, elbows nice and flexible so that we can absorb any uh, pressure from the ball, the speed from the ball, and we, act, and we stand up nice and tall start the exercise in that set position, throw the ball against the wall, 
react to the ball and come up with hands. So, head still, I'm going to start in that set position. So, set position being knee slightly bent, hips flexed, hands in front. I'm just going to come in and up. Head stays up, chin stays up. Good. And we're there, we just watch the ball then. As soon as you start getting warm, just step a little bit back, just increase the pressure and the speed of the ball. Good. Okay, so we do 10 with the right hand, and because we're in, uh, we're still training, we have to be ready for the game, we have to warm up the distribution with the left as well. So 10 with right, and then just go 10 with left. Okay, so it's there, solid, just in, hands. In, hands. Following the ball, if you get a bounce that goes up, can we follow? Can we make sure that we keep hold of that ball? It's all there. Good. Good. Well done. Just there. Nice and relaxed. There has to be a bit of footwork that goes over. Footwork, just stay in behind the ball. There again. Good. Okay, the second handling technique that I'm going to warm up is the basket catch. So we're just going to come in and it's a waist height ball. So remember, we have the W for highs, basket just letting that ball come in for those mid height catches. So again, this time I'm going to alternate hands which I'm going to serve with. So each one is just slightly lower serve and coming in. There, try and get those hands set before we go. And if you can see already, I'm having to get in line now and again. It's bouncing off, I'm just staying in line with the ball. There. Just react to each ball. Remember, very hard hand to serve with. Okay, so about 10. Between 10 and 20 each hand to get yourself warmed up, just to get yourself in that mode and get catching again. Remember, service for yourself is important, as well as keeping the head still. Staying in that set position, body weight slightly forward. As soon as you put it in, can we, can we have the hands around nice and quick to, to form that basket just to take the ball in. Okay, just going to advance that now for the, uh, the W technique and the scoop technique, or uh, sorry, the basket technique. Um, and so we're going to do it on the move, so we get the feet involved as well now. So start from one side, if you go right hand as you're moving to the left, because then you get that natural cross, cross the body action, so you're going to have to stay in line. So here we're working that little foot movement, to get in line to, to receive the catch and uh, stop the shot in the game situation. Remember with that footwork, if we can, can we set, can we move over short distances with hands in set position? Set position, that's a, probably another video where it's your, for my opinion, it's your personal preference. We see keepers here, nice and low, high, open palm, it's whatever works with you, as long as you can justify why you're doing it. Main action here, Movement is from below, from the waist down. Just short, sharp steps, making sure that we don't hit the heels together and we're moving nice and freely. So, we're just gonna go across, there. Going in line. Good. Just in there. Then we're going back the other way. Eyes stay on the ball. Head stay still. If you can see, all that's moving is below the waist. Just one more back the other way, in line, and I'm down. Go 10 one way, 10 the other way, just to get yourself warm again, making sure that those fundamental movements of the footwork are happening. Okay, now we've done the W technique, move with footwork. Time to go on to the basket technique. Again, this time set a little bit lower. So you're in, it's just throw and across. Throw and across. Throw and across. 
Get in line. Get in line with that ball. Good, and back the other way. Then I'm just basketing the ball into my midriff. Then finishing with three surfaces on the, on the ball. Three surfaces being the gloves, forearms and chest. Okay guys, next te technique that we're going to use uh, for save is a pickup or the scoop. Um, again, just using the ball. Now we're going to start including the feet for passing distribution as well. Obviously, we don't just get to throw it, now we have to work the feet as well, especially during the times that we're in at the moment. So, all I'm going to stand, two, three metres away from the wall, it's just a little pass, down and scoop and pick up. Just pass, pick up. Pass, pick up. Pass, pick up. Pass, pick up. Okay, as you've seen, sometimes I have to move the feet and change the depth at which I'm, I'm going down to scoop and picking up. I go five or six on one side, so dropping my left knee again. Then you have to drop down on the right because we need to be working equal sides. So this time I'm going to pass with the left and drop the right knee. Pass left, drop right. Pass left, drop right. Pass left, drop right. If you notice guys, head and chest is always forward, scooping down with that upside down W or the, or the, the scoop technique, going down and picking up. What I feel is important when we're going down and picking up, dropping the knee in the case aid, don't let that knee go down on the floor because in the game if something happens, if you're planted on the floor, it's difficult to make a second move. So remember, if we can see from there, drop down, head and chest over the ball, knee slightly off the floor just in case we have to come up. Now we're going to move on to what I call completing the, the scoop save or the pick up save. So we're actually going to fall on the floor and go through with the same, complete the same. So the action is still the same, it's that pass in. Now we've got to get set, we're going to go down, scoop, drive forward on the ball, not too far forward because so, we don't want to be too aggressive on the ball, um, don't attack the ball too much. Uh, in the game that's where you get your rebounds and then you're going to have to be forced into a second save. So, from the set position, can we play? Go down, scoop forward. Come up, relax, change foot, go down, scoop forward. Change foot each time, down, scoop forward. And again, down, scoop forward. Obviously, we'll all have a dominant foot, a dominant side that we go down on. But can you make a conscious effort to do three, four, one side, three, four, the other, and we repeat so that we're getting that balanced workout. As you noticed as well, I was watching the ball right under my nose, all the way in, and not jumping too, jumping forward or or being too aggressive or or anything on the ball. It's all about timing and letting that ball come into you. Okay, now we're going to progress the scoop. Um, scoop technique into something with footwork as well, so we're going to add footwork, distribution, scoop technique at the end. Uh, again, still in that warm up phase, again, just polishing up the techniques for, for you. Um, remember, footwork as we're going across, I've laid out four markers in a slalom. I'm going to be facing the wall or the play, so we're going to simulate that the play is coming from this side. Um, it's a forward and backward slalom. Reach the ball, wall pass into the wall, set, scoop. Obviously my reaction time is short, so I, because of the space that I've got, but again, I'm trying to make it realistic for you guys that you can work with it. Ball is set in here, 
at the end. I'm just going to work forward again. You'll notice head and hands are still. It's all from the waist down. So head and hands are facing the action. Forwards, backwards, forwards, in. Double pass in, then scoop. Leave the ball, come back in. Again, forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, in, play, scoop. Don't let the ball get too far in front so that when you get through, you can just give it a quick, quick jab in. So it's forward, backwards, forwards, backwards, in. And if you have to manipulate and work another save, okay, the wall's flat, but something might happen and you have to adjust to it. So we just got to take that ball back. Come back in, forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, in, scoop, down. So again, I'm dropping that knee down to the heel and driving forward. So, if you can, do 10 one side, then work the other way, so that you're getting that balance again. As you can tell, it's a bit of a blow, or it is at 38 when you're getting up and down, up and down. Okay, so moving that on, I'm now going to work in, progress into the diving saves. I'm going to work low diving save, followed by a second save up using a wall to rebound so that I collapse into a half high. Yes, this is green surface, but please don't imagine that it's padded or anything like the football pitches at, at home. It is literally green carpet on a hard surface. So if you have a mat at home, an exercise mat or something, put it down. If not, just make sure that the technique that we're using for that collapse is safe. Remember, step in, lean forward, Hands, hands following the ball, head still, and then we go down with knee, hip, ribs. Um, so we're gradually falling down, just make sure that we're focusing on those little technical points. Each save that you'll see, you'll notice that I'm using the V uh, principle, so I'm going to try, depending on the, the service that I give myself, to attack the ball down the line. So I'm attacking down the line of the ball. I emphasize to a lot of my goalkeepers that attacking V when we're saving. For a number of principles which we can go in if we make a later video uh, or if you reach out to me for some one-to-one -one, uh, coaching that V principle giving us the time and space for any recovery say okay so I've one ball set out here uh, to my right I'm going to collapse down making that low diving save using three hands as goalkeepers we have three hands uh, those that work with me know exactly how they are. Um, then I'm going to recover or serve against the wall to make that second save, that second half high collapse you'd say. So I'm set, head still, I'm going to react to here. So down, drop, up, ball, and in. As you can see, I've started back there, ended up attacking each save. So I'm in, that first step is here. So there, step, in, off, react, down. Again attacking, staying nice and staying in line with the ball all the time, the head stays still. So we do five one side, five the other, repeat twice or as many times as you feel comfortable with. And again, as you can see, it's quite a workout already. I'm going to change sides, step, down, up, serve, in. Again, just focusing on that attack. The basic principle of the body shape, attack down the line, pull, react, in, left.
Okay, so that's that. Low save followed by a second reaction save into a half high. If we want to progress that, we can go mid height save into extended save, depending on the surface you're working with. So it's just a simple drop in, down, up, in, there. I'll show you on the other side. Just going to leave the ball there outside. Down, up, in, there. Again, five one side, five the other side. Repeat twice. And already we're starting to go, starting to get a sweat off. The last topic of this video is blocking saves with a reaction save. So I'm going to include some footwork through the slalom. I'll vary it each time. Then I'm going to come down and block. So that's a little uh, spread save, a little block, making sure that we we get the right low behind the ball. Take the hands out, not too far. Remember the focus is the ball. So during the game, we'll, we'll be up here. If we know that the ball's down here, can we get nice and low? Uh, then I'm going to follow that save up. Just send that a little bit wider with a reaction save into here. So a low diving save. So it's going to be footwork, spread, down into here. I'll do a couple, then I'm going to break down the, the uh, spread technique. Um, and we've already covered the low diving save, but I'll, I'll just break down each part for you. Okay, so my footwork, again, I'm trying to move just the lower part of the body. As I come out, I step in nice and big. Notice this hand, especially this one. I see a lot of my guys, when they first come to me, this happens or this happens. The focus must be on the ball, remember. I'm going to drop this way because the goal behind me, the bigger part of the goal is going to be the inside. So I'm going towards the post, I'm blocking the ball there, the chest is over, knee still isn't all the way down, and I'm here, hands in front, head over the ball. From there, going back to what we discussed earlier, this knee is up, so from there I can go straight away and over. I don't have to reload from, the, from my knee being down to get up from a loaded position. I'm already there, so I can just twist and go across. Hands over, straight over, and I'm down. Just throw you through the one again. Footwork, can still, head still, set, over, spread, there. You see that one? I dropped my knee, balance was over, head was too far over, I lost my balance, so I wouldn't make the second one. We go again, hands still, focus in, there, cross, and in. And now with every exercise that we've done, we do one side, we must do the other. So I'm going to say we do 10 on one side of this, 10 on the other. And if you want to split that up into 5, 5, 5, 5, feel free, it's in your hands. I'm going to change the footwork on this one, just so that you see a variation of footwork. And then I'll go through it again with you. So, I'm set, hands still still, in, change the side, and in. If you notice guys, those hands are set, as I'm coming in, I change the knee, hand, elbow still in, and I'm down. In, correct, in, and on. Go. Okay guys, that's it for this video. We've covered hand link technique and warm up of W, basket save, scoop and pick up. We've progressed them into using footwork with them. 
We've then gone into low diving saves and half high diving saves or collapsing saves. And then we've gone into this little one using the footwork, the K save or the spread, which is so common now, followed by the reaction save and low, save, low, low attacking diving save. Remember, anything that you need guys, please get in touch. If you're happy with the content, not happy with the content, feedback is also welcome. Uh, anything that you'd like to see uh, for me to give back to you, I appreciate all the feedback that we get. Might not be perfect, but at least we keep trying and we keep working hard at what we're doing. Remember, it's all about me helping you achieve your goals.